And for this episode, I will talk about finishing and exporting in the Illustrator. I made a list of things I usually do before I'm sure that my artwork is actually ready. The first list you should check is document bleed. This is a step that you must do if you are working on a print project, such as a poster or other print project. You can ignore it if you are working on a digital project. In simple words, the bleed is the area to be trimmed off. The bleed is the part on the side of a document that gives the printer a small amount of space to account for the natural movement of the paper during guillotining and design inconsistencies. Artwork and background colors often extend into the bleed area. After trimming, the bleed ensures that no unprinted edges occur in the final trimmed document. In Illustrator, you can get and set this bleed on the file menu and click on Document Setup. In this section, you can fill in the value of the bleed you need. Let's say we will fill it with 10 pixels, after clicking OK, then you will get this bleed line around the artboard. You have to do this step when you are working on the artwork that will be printed, you can ignore it if you are working on a digital project. The second checklist is to organize the artwork. It is very important if you are creating artwork with many elements, or in one document you are working on several artworks, it will help you to identify each artwork you are working on. As I demonstrated here, in this document there are four pieces of artwork, or designs on each artboard. You can organize it by placing this artwork on different layers. You can name these layers based on the artwork you have created as I have made here, it will make it easier for you to identify and organize your artwork. The third checklist is the type element. If your artwork contains type elements, you should also pay attention to this stage. The first thing you have to do is make sure all the words are spelled correctly, to avoid typos in your artwork. And the second step, is to make all the type elements into a vector shape. Select all element types. Right click, and create outline. In that way, this type element has become a vector shape. This stage also ensures that all of these element types will no longer change, especially the type of font you are using. And the last checklist, is color. In printed design or artwork, the document you have must be, in CMYK mode. To check it, you can go to the file menu, and go down to document color mode. And you just have to check the CMYK color, but if your artwork is for digital purposes, then you have to choose RGB. If you have confirmed these four lists, then your artwork is ready for export. Exporting artwork in Illustrator, gets a different treatment from start to finish. Depending on the type of artwork you are working on, and when your artwork is ready for export you will also do different things. If your artwork is a printed project, then all you have to do is export it with a PDF file type. If you are not familiar with PDF, PDF stands for Portable Document Format. PDF documents are files that are well received by printers in order to print a document to specification. When it comes to printing your work, most printers require you to include marks and bleeds, which helps the printer accurately print and trim your work to spec. Previously I showed you how to create a document bleed, so that the document will show a red line around the artboard. To see what these bleeds do, go to the file menu. Save as. Change the save as type to Adobe PDF and click Save. After that the Save PDF panel will appear and provide some settings. First, we can choose a high quality print preset to get good print quality. After that, go to the Marks and Bleeds tab. Put a check mark on all printer's marks and use document bleed settings. Leave everything else by default and click Save. After saving, you can open the PDF file and get results like this, and your artwork is ready to print. The second option in exporting artwork, is to export it in digital format. You can do this if you have made sure that your document is in RGB color mode. After that, go to File menu, and Export. And for this course, I simply choose Export as. In the Export panel, change Save as Type, to JPEG format, or PNG format if you want to create artwork for website needs. As a guide to Illustrator, I don't explain in detail everything in this course, you can use this for a first introduction so that you can take yourself to the next level. It can also give you a brief understanding of how to work effectively with Illustrator. To develop your Illustrator skills, I recommend doing a lot of practice and exploring everything in Illustrator. Well, I hope you enjoy this course, and I hope this course can help you to use Illustrator even if you are a beginner, and I hope this course can help you to create your own artwork in the future.